inside his garage. Apparently I've had a few messages telling me how organised this is. Um, it's what I've been using as a gym. So for today's workout, it is going to be brought to you by Mel. Now, when we're at home, working, going to the gym, one thing we all neglect because we don't have time is stretching. Okay, we wake up feeling tight, don't move very well first thing on the morning, but we all still train as hard as we can, but don't look after ourselves. Well, one good thing about quarantine, self-isolation, lockdown, whatever you want to call it, is we've now all got loads of time, okay? So, why not look after those sort of niggling injuries that you've had for quite a while, you know, those ones that just always play on your mind a bit when you're training. Um, so what Mel's going to do is she's going to take you through a bit of an express, an express stretch session. Cover that for a bit of a mouthful. Um, to help you just feel a little bit more mobile, okay, maybe help relieve those niggly injuries, get you moving a bit better so that when all this is over and you do get back to training like you normally would, that you feel a lot better doing it. All right, guys, enjoy. Okay, fitness fans, um, so today I was thinking, I was thinking what's all very well as doing all these fabulous workouts with training and muscles and weights and all that, but maybe sometimes people just want to take five or ten minutes just to have a bit of a stretch, because let's be honest, we all neglect it, we all do it, we're telling people to do it and we're worse ourselves, we neglect it all the time. So. What I thought today is, let's just do a quick video uh, with one stretch for each major body part. So there seems to be a thing going on at the moment with me with the number eight. Something about the number eight that seems to be cropping up. So if you watch my recent videos, I did the glute burnout, eight exercises to glute burnout. I did the shoulder one a couple of days ago, again, eight exercises, and I've been listing those exercises individually on our uh, Facebook page. Go check it out. So what I'm going to do today is eight stretches, one for each body part. So we've got chest, upper back, lower back. What else have we got on my list? We've got glutes, we've got hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, calves. So really all the major body parts that tend to get tight and that we neglect. So uh, there's an absolute plethora of stretches out there for all these body parts. So literally I'm going to choose one for each body part. Let's make it simple. And I'm going to run through each one separately and then you can pick and choose as you wish. But if you just need a general stretch out, here's a stretch for each part of the body. So just go ahead and enjoy. Okay, guys, number one. So a brilliant stretch for the upper back is one of the yoga stretches called the cat cow. So you've probably heard of it before and it's because it looks like a cat and a cow. So box position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And I literally just want you to curve the back up squeeze, squeeze the abs in, push the back up towards the ceiling and then literally just reverse it and really curve that back off, push your butt up and put a look up so you get in that opposing stretch and just go between the two. So push up and then reverse it. So you're just getting that fabulous flexion and extension in the spine. So maybe go through each one about 10 times just to loosen off that upper back. So that's number one. So number two is a great one. One of the best stretches I feel for the lower back. So on your back, feet flat, place the arms down with the palms up and make sure the shoulder blades are actually in contact with the floor or the mat. And all you're gonna do is let the knees flop to one side. The important thing here is to make sure that left shoulder, if you're going to the right with the knees, the left shoulder must stay in contact with the floor because as soon as that shoulder comes off, you're losing the stretch. So keep the shoulder in contact with the floor and let the knees flop. And then literally just reverse it. So other way, and make sure this right shoulder is down on the mat. If you want to make it that little bit harder, you can always cross the legs and just go again. And also just to extend the stretch, if you're turning your knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Keep that shoulder down. Okay, so important things, keep the shoulder down and just move the knees either way. So probably 10 to each side again, 
Give you a lovely stretch off in the lower back. Okay. A great stretch for the hip flexors. Now, everybody's hip flexors tend to be tight from sitting down or any job where your hips are constantly in this flex position. So, hip flexor stretch. This is the one I prefer. So, I've got a raised platform here. You could also use the wall. Place the toe up on the box or whatever you've got to raise the toe. If you struggle with that, leave it flat on the floor. Take the other leg through and onto the foot. Okay, so now you're going to sit up nice and tall. You might lose my head at this point, but you can sort of see what the legs are doing. Sit up nice and tall and take the same arm as the leg that's back up and stretch it back. So you're feeling the stretch here in the hip flexor. So push those hips through, lift the arm and hold. Hold that for about 45 seconds. And then literally you're just gonna switch them over. If you struggle to put your toe, remember you can always do it against a wall or you can just leave it flat and go from there. I just find putting my toe up just extends the stretch even more and I just find it a little bit more effective. So hip flexor stretch, that's number three. Yeah guys, chest stretch. Again, a bit like hip flexors, the chest for a lot of people tends to be really, really tight. This one's really easy to do because everyone's got a door frame or something they can do it from. So I'm going to use this door frame to stretch and I'm going to do one arm at a time. So take a split stance if you're stretching the right side, take the right leg back, place your lower arm against the door frame. So you've got that right angle and the right angle at the elbow and then just literally deep breath and let the body push forward so you feel the stretch across the chest there. Hold that for a few seconds, release, and then push the arm up a few inches and go again. Stretch, just go steady, because this tends to be very tight on a lot of people. Hold that, 15, 20 seconds, and then move it back down, go again. You might find it's more of a stretch at the right ankle position for some people, you might find further up you're feeling more of a stretch. So wherever you feel it more, maybe take a bit more time at that point. So that's your chest stretch. Remember to change sides and switch your stance and go with the other side. And that's your chest stretch, that's number four. Okay, number five, my next stretch is for your glutes. So a couple of options here. Simplest one, lay on your back, feet flat. Take one ankle onto the other knee. Take the hands through the middle and pick up the leg that was on the floor. Sometimes I find driving the elbow against the leg that's bent um, and pushing against it just increases the stretch. So pull this leg in and push against the other thigh with your elbow. Really feel it in that glute. If you want to advance it, maybe sit up and do exactly the same thing. So hang on to knee, bring that knee in close. Place your feet on the on the on the floor behind hands on the floor behind you, just to push into that stretch and make it a bit more intense. And just hold that for 30, 45 seconds till you feel it maybe um, ease off a little bit. And then remember to change sides. So either go with the floor option or seated. Bring that foot nice and close. Oh gosh, that's a lot tighter on the left for me. Wow. Oh, that's the glutes. That's a number. Five. Okie dokie, quad stretch, so quads, front of thigh. So, really easy. Lay on the floor and literally grabbing laces of your shoe, squeeze that into your butt, and then literally all I want you to do to increase it is push your hip bones into the floor. So push the hip bones into the floor, that will increase the stretch. Guys, if you struggle, to grab the laces, grab yourself a cord, dressing gown, dressing gown cable, whatever, and just use that to pull in. So if, you, if you're not quite flexible enough to grab the foot, there's always options. And keep, keep, keep pushing those hips into the mat and then just change legs. So again, about 35 seconds, sorry, 45 seconds per leg. And that's your quad done here. Two stretches left. So this is number seven and it is your hamstrings, tight on a lot of people. So again, laying down on your mat. For this one, if, you, if you've got your cable out or your dressing gown cord or whatever you've got, why not use it again? Put it around your foot and then straighten the leg. Relax down on the floor with your head and just draw that leg in towards you. Try and get the leg as straight as possible. 
At this point, in order to get a bit more stretch as well on the adductors, so they're the inside of the uh, inside of the thigh, maybe let the leg drop out to the side slightly. Just control it. And you might feel it down the inner thigh as well as the hamstrings. So again, 45 seconds each leg. Remember to change legs. And if you don't need the cable, you can just hold the back of the leg. But sometimes I find using some sort of um, cord just helps you to keep the leg a little bit straighter because you're so busy trying to grab the back of the leg, you can't focus on keeping the leg straight. Also, point the toe towards your face also gives you a bit more stretch in the calf as well. So that's your hamstrings done. Okay, last and final one, number eight. So everybody's got some sort of step um, around the house somewhere they can use, whether it be outside or inside. So the last one for the calves, uh, we're just gonna use the step in order to stretch. So I'll show you if you can feel, see what my feet are doing. So literally, heel off and ball of the foot on and just let the heel drop. Let it release up to your toe and then go again. Hold for about 10, 15 seconds, release, and then let it drop again. So again, 15 second stretch, release it, 15 seconds, release it, and then a further 15, then change legs. And that's your calves done, and that's number eight complete. So guys, run through all eight stretches just to get the full body stretch and, and you'll feel so much better for it. Sometimes when you sat around all day or if you're busy at work, you just need to take 10, 15 minutes out to give yourself a bit of a stretch and you'll probably sleep a lot better for it as well. So I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Oh, chuffing stroll. Oh, that is painful. Oh, can't even reach me toes. I need to do this a bit more often. Oh. 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 Yeah, I definitely need to do some more stretching. Um, that smells express stretch workout. Uh, hopefully you're all feeling a little bit looser after going through that. It's giving you a few ideas on what muscles you might need to stretch and stretches that will help relieve any tension that you've got in those muscles. Um, for our next video, I'm going to do another workout. Now, it's not lost on me that all the workouts that I've done so far have involved equipment, okay? I've got two heavy dumbbells and two lighter dumbbells, and I've got quite a few resistance bands as well, and most people won't have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the house, get a load of everyday essentials, get a backpack, and a few other bits and bobs that... I'm pretty confident most people will have at home and I'm going to use them uh, in a workout. So basically we can sort of assist more of you in keeping up with some sort of training because we don't all have the benefits of having like, the equipment that I've got. Uh, so look out for that. That'll be tomorrow. Um, and that's it really. Okay. Uh, oh, you had a good stretch. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe because uh, otherwise you might miss the backpack workout that I've got planned tomorrow. Uh, but that's it. If you've got anything that you'd like to say in the comments, there's anything that you're struggling with or there's anything that you'd like me or Mel to go through, drop a message in the comments and we will get that done as soon as possible. All right. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Bye.